come to the dark side, we have rich Corinthian leather. What? Well, tonight, we've got an offering from the lovely Avery Brewing. It is the Ellie's Brown Ale, named after an adorable chocolate lab that apparently is one of the brewer's dogs or something, according to the side of the can. The side of the can also gives a pretty detailed description of what this beer tastes like. Do I think that it matches personally? Well, let's find out. So we've got a nice dark beer here, kind of see-through, nice kind of red oak color when you put it up to the light. Smell of it, I actually smell the hops right away, and I can smell the malt just underneath it, but when I taste it, the hops kind of are just there as a background to let the malt play. Hops taste a lot like sweet cut grass to me. It's, it's a nice taste, and a very good one to keep all of those malt flavors in check. Get the image of your head of like a dog playing on a freshly cut lawn. There you go, that's what this beer tastes like. In all seriousness, I would say malts profile on this, we're talking mainly brown sugar. That's the biggest taste I have, and it's almost like almond taste at the end. A little bit of sweet marzipan, I would say, is the aftertaste I get. So brown sugar almonds, there you go. This is a cup of brown sugar almonds and grass. It's delicious, I love it. Now. As far as star reviews, I give it a three star. Personally, if it were just my opinion overall, I'd give it a four star because I love brown ales, love them to death. But realistically speaking, if you're the kind of guy who prefers like Pilsners and IPAs and darker beers are a struggle for you, I'm not sure that this one's gonna convert you, but definitely consider giving it a try. Don't pick up a six or have a friend who likes it pick up a sixer for you. Cheers.